we'll put it right back together the same way. We can see this one here turns freely. This one up here turns freely. This one here is locked up. So we gotta take this apart. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this drive shaft right here off to get it out of our way. It's a 14 millimeter bolt, go ahead and take it all the way out. The drive shaft came out. As you can see, the bolt slides into that groove right there. That's why you have to take it all the way out. Okay, we got the deck up in the air. We got a blade that's connected to that box underneath of it. If we go down here, we move that blade, or try to, it's locked up. Okay, when we take this off, it's not a nut, it's a bolt. It takes a one and one quarter inch or 32 millimeter socket. And when you take this bolt off, there's the gear. Okay, now we got a blade. We have a large washer with a gear on it. And we have the, the bolt. And just remember, it all goes back together just like this when you put it back on. We also have this big cup here. It looks like it's for holding grease. When you freeze it, it should pop right off also. There is a snap ring here. Got to take the snap ring off in order to pull the unit out. Got our snap ring off. Go back up here and we'll pull this sleeve out. Now we should be able to pull our gearbox straight up. What I'll go ahead and do is take these two bolts out and these two on this side. Now you should be able to go ahead and grab it, pull it straight up. Oh, grab your pulley. Okay. You have a spacer right here. Don't lose the spacer. I'm going to go ahead and put it back down in here. Well, I know where it's at. The pulley will come straight off. Uh, if it don't, just give it a give it a pull. It should uh, should come off. Then we got the keyway right here. Go ahead and take it out. Put it up to where you don't lose it. Now that I have the gearbox off, I'm going to take a screwdriver and gently pry this plug out. like a rubber seal. There's the bearings. Now I'm going to take this big one here off same way. pretty good also got a pretty good size snap ring down in here I'm gonna go ahead and take that out also got a little washer in there turn it over to the other side go ahead and take your seal off and get it out of the way you'll have another snap ring down inside here. Go ahead and take your pliers and get it off. There's also a seal right here that has to be removed. Here's a better look at the snap ring we're getting ready to remove. Okay, we've got a ring clamp out. Put it over here. Move that one. And let's see what we can do. We also got a we also got a little washer in here. Let's get it out of the way. Make sure that 
that's the only oh we got two of them we got two three of them okay so we got three of these little washers in here now what I'm going to do I'm going to put a punch on the end of here and I'm going to drive this out the other side with the hammer that should free up this bearing right here okay I got it on my vise Got to stick it through the bottom. I'm going to put a punch up here, try and drive the shaft out of the bearing. It is coming. I just don't want that to fall. Put a rag under here to to keep it from falling, maybe damaging the damaging the uh, head of it. Okay, Looks like it's free. I'm going to have to go ahead and punch this on through. And if I can do that with a socket. Nope, that one's too big. Take one of my small sockets, stick it right in there. There we go. Popped it right out. Now, here's our gear. The gear looks really good. Nothing wrong with the gear. Goes on there just like that. Okay, we have a little bitty washer on our uh, spline here. We got to keep that. Remember where it goes. Here is the part that is bad. See if you can see that. See, there is no bearings. The bearings are gone. And there's a few bearings in there, but the it, this one is uh, toast. So I'm going to have to take this bearing off and replace it. Now that I need to replace this bearing also, since I got a part, I'm going to replace all the bearings. Just go ahead and put it on there. And tap it out. Okay, that looks in pretty good shape. Before I can take this bearing off, there's another snap ring right here. I gotta remove it, remove this gear, and then we'll take the uh, bad bearing off of there. Got our snap ring off. It won't come off yet, so what I'm gonna do, I'm going to put it on the vise and push it down through there because the, the bearing's ready to come off. Light tap. Okay, we'll knock it right into this bucket. There we go. The bearing and the gear. Okay, so you can see that the uh, gear is sleeved into the bearing, so I'm going to have to take the gear off of the bearing. I had to use my 12-ton bearing press to get this gear out of this bearing, and uh, that press was having a hard time getting this out. It was in there pretty tight. This thing must have been frozen to the uh, bearing, as you can see right there, from having no gear oil in it 